so in here let's make sure that uh, our images are, are similar you know this is not looking good and by the way please hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed if you are able to help me on patreon you can support me there the link is in the description and if you can support me on patreon well and good just uh, let those ads play okay so let's go back here no this is not actually what we want let's go to our product.class.php actually no we want to go to the product controller so inside controllers let's go to um no actually here product.class.php is quite right okay <clears throat> so the product class inside models now what i want to do here is as we are uploading the images i want to create a thumbnail version of them but uh, i actually just want to resize them because people have a tendency to upload heavy images you know for example uh, if you're using it, 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 maybe you might not have a choice let's say you're using a camera uh, to take your photos now cameras can have files that are as big as 10 megabytes which are jpegs that you get and those images are not very good for websites because if you have one image one image here that's 10 megabytes another one 10 another one then you're going to run into a very big problem because now when people try to log on to your website and just to view what's on there, they're going to lose a lot of data and it's going to be extremely slow. So a good practice is to resize all images that are uploaded to the site. So it's a good idea to just resize them right here, right after moving them. Because now I know my file is in this destination, then I can go ahead and resize it right here resize image mm -hmm. so how do we do that well we have to create a class that resizes images now resizing an image is very easy actually it's just uh, there's a, a function called um, right uh, I'm completely blank right now I've forgotten the, the function name <laughs> there are functions that use the GD library like uh, image create uh, image create from from JPEG like this so i can create this image and then um so for example if i say image create from jpeg then i can get this destination and put that image in there and this will give me a resource so it will be something like a resource for an image like that so this resource is different from an actual image because with this one i can edit the pixels on the it's like a, an array containing the data from the image itself so in this format i can edit the pixels one by one that's why this resource is so resourceful and then after that what you would do is use another <coughs> excuse me use another function called image um, copy image copy now we don't want to just copy the image we want to resample it as we copy it so image copy there's image copy resized and image copy resampled i like resampled here because it gives you so many options and you can you can use this one to crop the image you can use it to resize the image and it's all about how you copy the pixels from one end to the other because you have the destination image here and then you have the source image so this will be the source and everything will be copied to the destination image and then depending on the resolution of the destination and the source then you can resize the image so if you say the source is 1000 pixels and the destination is 500 pixels then it will be resized though you have to tell it that the destination x and y and so on so depending on the parameters you put here the width the height and so on it will determine whether you are resizing or cropping the image but this whole topic is very complex and i already uh, i have plenty of tutorials on my channel that talk about how to resize and crop images so you can take a look at those if you want this issue in detail however here we are not here for details of that nature uh, 
So what I will do is just copy a uh, class that I already created for another project uh, for the social website here. Another series that I'm uh, doing. So I'll just copy the image.php file here. Now, don't worry if you don't, of course you don't have this, but uh, just look in the link in the description and you shall, you should be able to find it. So I will copy this and go back here. I will say uh, open folder, read open containing folder right here. And I will paste this image thingy here. So I'll do F2 at the end here and say dot class dot PHP. Mm -hmm. That way it matches all the other classes. And let's open it so that we can go through what is in here. So it's pretty uh, simple. This generate file name is also an important thing. So this generates a random string of a specific length. So this is just for creating the file name of the image itself. So this way, uh, like I had said before, if you look at these images, if I've used these images before, let's say this product and this product have the same exact image, it becomes a problem because if we currently what we are doing is we are saving the images with the file names that they came with. So if I use the same image twice, then if I delete the image on one product, it will be deleted on the other. So to avoid that, we create random file names for every file that is uploaded. So we'll use this function for that purpose. This one crops an image, yeah? So original file name, the cropped image, the maximum width. So we will not be using these. Actually, these should be set as private. I don't know why I even set them as public. This should be private because they're only used inside here. So as you can see, there's image create true color, image create copy resampled, like I had said, and these are the parameters for resizing and so on. But the functions we are interested in are not the resize or crop, but they are these. Get some cover right here. Uh, I don't think we'll be using this though. It's this one, get some prof, no, not even that one. We'll be using this one, get some post, just this one. This is all we need. Mm -hmm. So we need that and we also need to be able to just resize our image. So maybe we will do resize image right here. Max width, max height. Okay, yeah, I think uh, this is reasonable. So I will use this resize image right here. So let uh, me copy uh, this. Copy. Mm -hmm. And let me go to product class.php. No, actually, that's not it. I need to go to where I am. Okay, this is it, actually, where I am uploading uh, the file. Hmm. Okay, so this creates a bit of a problem. So... <clears throat> What I want to do is send in the image uh, class. So I'll say image underscore class. Uh, let me set it to no, just in case I don't uh, actually that's yeah. In case I don't need it, then I won't have to add it. Now you can reference these items instead of just putting it here. We can reference this by what they call um, pass by reference like this. Uh, you use this if you don't want, because what happens here is uh, these variables are different from the ones I sent when calling this function. These are different variables altogether. So if the class is quite large and you don't want to use too much memory, you can put this and percent here, which will mean, uh, I'm not sure actually if you, you still have the dollar sign there. I think you still do. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I haven't used the pass by reference in a while. So if you don't want to use too much memory, you use the pass by reference here so that the same exact, it's, it doesn't make a copy. It gets the same exact actual item and puts it here. So if you have a very big class and you're using it uh, everywhere, you can use the pass by reference like that. But let's not do get too technical. Let me just use that image class over here. So there's an image class here. 
that we'll be using. And let me come down here and right over there, I will paste my content, resize image. So resize image, the way I created this function, it doesn't return a value. Instead, it just uh, saves the image to wherever you, you tell it, this one right here. Okay. So here I want to use the same file. <clears throat> the source and the destination will be exactly the same. So that's the source and that's the destination. So the same file will be just be resized. It will be replaced. Oh, sorry there. So now here you get to choose the size of your files. So I will put uh, something like 1,500 pixels uh, on the other side, 1,500 pixels. Oh, wait, max height, okay, 1,500. So it won't create a square image. No, what it will do is it will make sure that none of the width or height exceed this value right here. So even if you put different values here, it doesn't really uh, resize it to that. It's just using this as the maximum possible width or maximum possible height like that. Okay, so resize image, destination, destination, and that's it. So that's all we need to do. And that should work. But to resize our image, we need to use our image class, of course. Like this. Image. Yes. Image class. Bam. Okay. Good. Now we need to just create this image class over here. Mm -hmm. When sending this. So where are we actually sending this from? It's inside the Ajax product. So right here, where we are sending it to the create. So let's add product. Uh -huh. So right here, there. We'll do the image class. So how do we actually get a class here? We do it exactly like this. So let's do the same thing here. Image class, I will say image underscore class is equal to new image. Mm -hmm. That should do. Okay, so dub, 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 done. And we might possibly need the same thing when editing images. So copy that. And let's go to the edit section of this thing, which is edit product right here. So files and let's paste our image class as well and let's go back to product class here and let's copy this very part here copy and let's go to the edit and paste there mm -hmm. so right here exactly what we're doing images string i have no idea okay okay no i remember what that is that's why good naming is important so let me copy that come down here and let's resize our image, shall we? Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Okay, so let's see if uh, nothing is broken. Let's try to add a product, shall we? So let me go here and uh, add new. Let's try and add new. Let's see what would be good here. We are running out of products, so what is this? Glen something. Glen. Uh, yeah. This is just for testing purposes. So uh, this is alcohol, but I'll put it in drinks. I will say 8.99. And I'll just put that one image and hit save. Product added successful. Now you see that it took slightly longer than usual because it was doing all that resizing of images and so forth but the image survived so which means it managed to actually do it 